So I'm seeing a lot of posts about how do I pop a beat? How do I pop a beat? And that is a really good question. And let's talk about what a beat is first so that you understand what you're doing. So the first thing is, is the way that the rim is constructed. So this tire is off. You can see this little part right here. That is the inner lip. And then that rim part that you always see is the outer lip. And the bead is this right here. Let's talk about what a bead is and what a bead isn't. A bead is not a necklace. It is not an element that goes on a necklace. It is not a bead of water. It is what looks like, so this is the outside of your tire, right? So we're looking at the same thing. My forearm is the outside of the tire. My fist is the bead. In my hand, in my grip, I am gripping iron rods, right? So it would look sort of like me holding onto this cable. This cable goes all the way around the rim of the tire, or I'm sorry, the rim of the, of the tire here, like this, all the way around. And so I'm gripping it, and the whole point of getting, you know, pot, like getting the, this to expand enough, so this expands enough to want to push my fist over that inner lip, my fist that's holding this edge of bead. And then I depend on that outer lip to stop that from going further. So when you see someone crack their outside of their rim, that is why it is not holding air because the bead itself is getting forced like kind of into that wall by the air pressure back here. So I saw a post this morning that said, heat up your tire. And the reason why I don't like that is because, and I, I'm going to say I'm the first one to have tried that, right? Um, it's because you got thin tire over here, thick tire here, even thicker holding this bead. This is all rubber. And then these are like steel strings that are sitting through. So the likelihood that you are actually going to transfer heat from that rubber into the metal is kind of slim. And even if you soften that bead up, it's not going to help. And in fact, it would help if the tire is hard. So if the rubber's hard, it's actually going to have more resistance back here. And it's going to wind up pushing that further over. So the best thing you can do, honestly, is put a strap around it, whatever kind it is. And if you only have a belt to do, I would do a couple of belts. And I wouldn't just press it down through the center because, again, you can get ballooning happening over here, especially if you have done something to try to soften your tire. Where you want to strap is the exact outside right here because the chance of, you know, it all coming up here is slim. But that is also why they sell tire straps, which I can't find mine. It was sitting right here for this video. But it's like a, a, a strap that's like this wide. Here it is. Uh, so Rocket Boy sells this one. And again, the reason why you get these is because they cover your whole tire. And then when the outside of that tire, my forearm, is covered with something, right? It's going to be a lot harder for that to pop out. And it's going to be more likely that my fist pops over that inner lip. So if you are looking to set your bead and you can't do it, Armadillos has Bead Buddy. You can also go to Amazon and get this stuff. It's called Bead On. It's lubricating paste. The reason why I like the paste is it's not messy. You just grab a little bit. You put it around the rim of your tire. I mean, you can even put it around the outer lip when you're taking the tire off and how you're trying to punch that through and the rubber can stick. Again, that's on purpose so that the tire doesn't want to deflate because these go-kart tires, these things are normally used on shifter carts. Those things are going over 100 miles an hour. You definitely don't want to blow out there. And so you don't want to blow out on your regular tire too. So remember, your tire bead is rubber, thicker rubber, and then it's holding steel strings and it wants to pop over that inner lip. So you don't care about the outer lip or the rim thing. You don't really care about that. It is the board going over the inner lip that is going to count. So the other thing too that you can do is you don't put the bead buddy or the bead on or lubricating paste there you're actually gonna put it here on the inner lip because this first part, that first part is where you're getting the first kind of material contact that doesn't like each other. And on the other thing too, if you're doing a Vega or one of these Unilis, do you see those little, little rubber hangers back there? Those are actually probably preventing you from putting your tire on all the way. I know that it seems really stupid, but when you get the lubricating stuff, you gotta put it all on the inside. It's not the outside of the tire that matters quite as much. You gotta get it all on the inside. So you really have to lube up this inner, in these inner like little flappy things right there. Otherwise your tire's not going on. If you use a strap, 
that you lubricate the inner lip and the inner part of this tire appropriately, you can get most of these tires on with the allotted pressure, they say. I will get tires on with about 35, 40 PSI, both sides. Vega, Unili, whatever it is, if you have the right tools, you have less of a chance of messing your stuff up. That's my TED Talk.